Hey there guys, and welcome to episode 4 of my Let's Play. It's I, Laharl, and today, if you recall last time... Today, if you recall last time for some reason, that makes total sense. If you recall from last time, uh, we went to Bloodpool's action stage and beat the crap out of the boss there, and then we went ahead and started building Bloodpool. So, we are going to continue that today. This is actually the... I did that thing again. <laughs> this is the second time I've done this, because I guess the first time I recorded, I learned a very valuable lesson in that you cannot pause debut. Because if you pause debut, it will cause the video to lag to unknown extremes and cause serious problems. Because I guess, as much as I hate to tell you this, I'm still new to this whole thing, so... I will do my best, and hopefully it won't come across as looking amateurish, but until I find a better way to do this, this is the way I have to do things. So, we're going to go ahead and skip through- well, we're not really going to skip, we're just going to get through the sim part really fast. I looked up some other Let's Plays, and most people generally tend to skip the sim parts for some reason. I don't know, I personally enjoy them, but I guess most people think of them as boring. So, but I still think people would want to see it, because that's what I'm going to do different about mine, is I'm going to actually show the sim parts. Like, you know, the basic stuff. I'm not going to sit around here and wait for leveling up, because that just kind of entails me sitting here doing nothing. Oh, right, i got to give them bridges. <laughs> Durr. Um, go ahead and use the bridge here so that they can build them, and they have something they want to tell me. We now know how to grow a crop called wheat. Please share our newfound crop with lands that cannot produce wheat. And I'm paraphrasing again. Can't do that. <laughs> Oops. My master, our son Teddy, has run away from home. We have looked everywhere for him, but we cannot find him. He must be very hungry now. Oh, my master, we have made a loaf of bread. Please find Teddy and give him the bread. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up this building. And hey, Teddy is showing up once again. Because he has a very curious nature, I guess. Alright, let's take out this stupid dodging dragon. Dodging dragon! That sounds like a really crappy kung fu movie. And hey look, there's a person by that cave over there. So I'm assuming, since there's no other people out, that that's Teddy. So, let's go ahead and uh, use offering on him. And I keep making weird... Get, get back here. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Just use on the cave. <laughs> Ow, I, I walked into that. No, yeah, ouch. <laughs> Thanks to you, my master. Our son Teddy is now back home. The loaf of bread reminded him of home and caused him to return. He didn't mean to run away. He was trying to discover how the lake was poisoned. We have always thought of our son as a small child. It was a surprise to see him act as a grown man. According to Teddy, the lake was poisoned because of its closeness to the monster's lair. We present you with this skull that, th that he found in the cave. Please accept it. And that skull is going to come into, hand into handy use later, because I keep screwing up what I'm trying to say. <laughs> in handy use. The best one yet. Let's go ahead and kill some dragons while we wait. So... Happy 4th of July, if you celebrate it, and if you're in the, in the States. I'm recording this on the 4th, actually. It's kinda something you just kinda grow out of, really. Well, I did. I guess most people don't. But I don't really celebrate it much anymore. I guess it doesn't help that we don't have the money to afford all that stuff, and it got really expensive these days. So... And hey, we're sailing the monster's lair. Awesome. No more dragon for you! Why is it that what I'm saying is not making sense today? And the civilization level went up. And let's go ahead and build towards that last one. Or is it the last one? I guess we'll see. Bridge! Oh, well. Let's see. These mysterious... Did... He just kind of came out of the, uh, out of the bushes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, well, destroy the bushes. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Let's 
go ahead and lightning it and get rid of this red demon who keeps hitting me and looks a lot like an evil cherub. He, he kind of does. He's like a red version of my cherub. But I guess he kind of is a demon. Because I guess red demons are just angry cherubs. Very angry, mad cherubs. And you? You're still a rat. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. You look like a friggin' white... white? You look like a blue rat to me, okay? So, for that, I guess... And... Yeah, just die. <laughs> die because I said so. And somebody found something in the monster lair. My master, upon sealing the monster's lair... Uh, excuse me. We found a strange statue. We present this to you as an offering. So... This looks like a target, and it just kind of screams, use an item. So, I have no items, so I have to take an item first, because that would be the best route to take Magic Skull. According to the fortune teller, this jewel can destroy, uh, excuse me, even a monster's lair. Please use it on a monster's lair that we can't seal. And so we shall. So we will go over to here, use offering, Magic Skull. Skull? Skull. Oh, something's gonna happen to Bloodpool. What do you know? Bloodpool's not Bloodpool anymore. I see, the real cause of Bloodpool's poison water is the location of the Red Demon's lair. And the people have something to say. My master, we have begun to use our boat for fishing. Some time ago, while fishing on the lake, we found a magic scroll, scroll caught in our dragnet. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. And they have something to say again. They should really like to talk in this. My master, since sealing the last monster there, something very dreadful has occurred. A monster appeared from the old castle by the lake and demanded a sacrifice of us. We spent hours discussing this hideous demand and sadly determined three people should be selected by drawing lots. Well, you know that never ends well. Unfortunately, one of those to be sacrificed is my son, Teddy. Told you. My master, please go to the old castle and save our son and our land. Well, we can't be having this, and you cannot be alive. You're not allowed to be alive. And now that all of our crops are basically destroyed, um, once this text is gone, I'm going to go ahead and do an off-screen after I level up. And I'm level 6. Sweet. Anyway, I'm going to do an off-screen again, and this time I'm going to do it right. Okay? Because that's what happened was... Pausing debut caused some issues, so hopefully this time I can do it the right way, because I guess I was doing it the wrong way before. So, hopefully, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, anyway, uh, if you recall, well, okay, you don't really have to recall anything because I'm just being stupid because this is actually, yeah. Anyway, last, um, I forgot to mention that while, uh, while we were in Bloodpool that the uh, actual spell that they found was actually the spell Magic Stardust, which, as I explained earlier, is considered one of the more stronger spells. Um, anyway, I went ahead and leveled up a little bit, and we are now ready to take on Act 2 of Bloodpool, so let's get on with it. Go down into the evil, creepy castle, which isn't so creepy when the pool, when the lake isn't made out of blood, or whatever it's made out of. Yep, yeah, Act 2 is actually not that bad, I guess. Well, I don't think it's that bad. But, like I said, second recording, so I got practice. And the practice isn't showing. You can't actually duck under those. Trust me, I tried. It would make dodging it a lot easier. I guess that's why you can't duck under it. And random spikes on the ceiling. Hmm. Yep, this place has a lot of traps that are basically one-hit kill, and you want to... Clearly you want to avoid those. I don't see why you wouldn't want to avoid them, and I hate slimes. And flying heads. That's always nice. Kinda remind me of Medusa heads from Castlevania. Aria of Sorrow, to be more specific. And if you know what that game is, you're awesome. Kill this statue over here. Get some health. Yeah, this, this room is actually not too bad. I used to have it memorized, too, and I could actually go through the whole room without actually getting hit by anything. Climb up here and kill some slimes. Because 
I guess that's what we do. And this is another instant death part, and I really don't want to fall there because if I fall there I'll die. And now we're going to run past these stairs, enemies that I don't want to kill. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, magic. Yep, that's only temporary though. <laughs> if it was permanent, that'd be kind of cheap. And lightning, and wow, I cut that one close. Oh, wow. I'm getting close calls here. Yeah, see those spikes? Those spikes kill you. Instantly. No questions asked. Not that spikes really have to ask questions, but, you know. You know what I mean. Wow. And that over there, that's a 1-up. But I really don't want it, so we're gonna go on. But if you were curious, that's what that is. And I jumped right on that stupid fireball thing those guys. Because goblins couldn't be any more annoying, they have to be able to fly now. Oh, crap, I timed it wrong. Get over here. And now, the platforms that go into the background. Because, you know, I guess... I don't know. I'm just kind of saying stuff. Let's get this apple, because we're really close to the boss now. And spikes on the ceiling. Ooh, that was close. Wow, that was that was really close. <laughs> Not that it'd kill me, it's just annoying to have to go back. And I'm on a time limit, so... Yeah, more reasons to not have that. And we're at the boss room. And I got a couple minutes to fight the boss. Oh. This boss is more of an annoyance, really. He doesn't really hurt. Ooh, perfect chance to cast at him. Nice. Very nice. Oh, man. Um, once he gets down to half, though, he changes form. Oh, come on. Don't walk into me. What kind of attack is that? Do something else. Okay. That's something else. <laughs> cast a spell at you because it is OP. And I'm in the center. Sweet. Yep, that was Act 2. Pretty good, pretty good. The boss sucks, but oh well. He's not too bad. When you get him on the second little circular thing there, he's cake on his first form. And hey, we're back in Bloodpool. Sweet. My master, we no longer have monsters here in Bloodpool. Thank you so much. My son Teddy has returned from the old castle carrying a precious scroll. We present the scroll to you as an offering. Please accept it. Thank you for taking care of us. We can now look after ourselves. Please help make other lands as peaceful as Bloodpool. And they have something to say again. My master, we have finally finished a road connecting us with our neighboring town, Fillmore. We can now teach them how to produce wheat. Cool. As in, really, that's awesome, because now I don't have to manually give them all wheat. My master, it may sound strange to you, but please listen to our plea. Hear our plea. Listen to... God. Our people have become bitter and selfish. We have so many quarrels and fights. I'm afraid I worked them too hard in building our town and have caused them too much stress. Didn't they just say that they can help themselves? Yeah. My master, have you anything that will calm the people? Yeah, and because of that, like that little villager said, they won't build anymore. At least, not till we fix it. Um, where is it at? See? It says stop on blood pool. Okay, well, that should about do it for this episode. And for this episode, I actually didn't come up with a question of the day, but maybe like one person was even answering them. So maybe later, maybe in another future video when I have more people to watch my videos and answer my questions. Oh well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully things went a lot better for this recording for me and if it did then i will see you guys in the next episode see you later <laughs>